It seems that Joel Embiid's having some beef with the Raptors, especially since their last game. Even if you guys didn't watch it, know that in the end, the Philadelphia 76ers won the game, but not without making some tough decisions on the court. Interested in finding out more? Keep watching this video because we're going to discuss the 76ers center's opinion of his teammate DeAnthony Melton, the Raptors, and more. First off, what did Joel Embiid have to say about the Raptors? First things first, Joel Embiid didn't have the best shooting performance against the Toronto Raptors on 20 December 2022, but don't worry because the 76ers were able to leave the Wells Fargo Center court with a win. Granted, it was an overtime win, but a win's a win at the end of the day, right? And it's actually quite interesting to note that the player believes that's exactly how Toronto wanted the game to play out, as in, that they were fine with losing. Now, MB definitely had a lot of stuff to say about the recent game, but the part that caught our attention the most was the snub he made about the Raptors' defensive strategy. He shared that when you play a team like Toronto Raptors, they don't care about winning, but rather about shutting down the other star players. Damn. Joel also added that when you're playing against them, you've got to be mentally prepared and alert and just basically keep shooting it and be ready for them when they arrive on the court. Though some fans think that his comments were a bit uncalled for, while other fans believe that the Raptors need to improve their offensive game instead. According to the stats, they have the third worst field goal percentage and are tied with the Hornets for the worst three-point percentage in the NBA. And to make matters worse, these numbers have actually dropped over the past six games. Coming up, he also sang praises of DeAnthony Melton. Melton had a pretty rough time throughout the game on the 20th of December and just barely managed to convert three of his shots from the field. You know, out of 14. But look, we're in no way whatsoever hating on him. In fact, we're all praised for the guy too, especially because he contributed seven rebounds and great defense to the game. DeAnthony also played a key part in forcing Fred Van Vliet of the Toronto Raptors into shooting three of 15 from the field, out of which two of his triples came in the fourth quarter. Embiid explained that Melton continued to shoot was all in all, in the long run, amazing for the Sixers' offense, and technically also for the center player himself. He also had a lot to say about Melton, starting with the fact that we're always on him, me especially. He also added that he knows that as long as everyone keeps shooting, whether it's DeAnthony, James Harden, Tobias, or P.J. Tucker, it doesn't necessarily matter if Embiid himself makes it or not, because it makes his job easier. Not to mention other players also praised DeAnthony. The Philadelphia 76ers added some seasoned veterans who brought only their A game to the table, and one notable team member mentioned is the 76ers guard DeAnthony Melton. Most people thought that Melton brought value to the Sixers bench as a ball handler, but there are some diehard fans and critics who believe his defense is actually the secret behind his stardom. Other than Joel Embiid, a bunch of other players. The Sixers forward P.J. Tucker also praised the basketball player. Tucker shared that DeAnthony is good on defense every night. He also thinks that Melton should be on one of those all-defensive teams every year, because like we said, he's great at defense. And according to the forward player, this is thanks to DeAnthony being strong, quick, and he's got good hands. But the biggest thing is that he cares, and he wants to play defense. Like, can you think of a more dedicated player than Melton? We know we won't be able to think of any other name but his. In 2022, Melton's at the second position in the NBA for steals per game, while the first player is Toronto's OG Anuobi with 2.1 steals per game. According to Cleaning the Glass, Melton made a steal on 3.2% per play, which put him in the top tier of the league for the guard position. What's more? Here's how Twitter reacted to the Philadelphia 76ers overtime win. So when we say that netizens love Tobias's performance in the game, we really do mean that they loved it. One Twitter user commented that Tobias Harris is running the lane and getting rewarded and even added a plane emoji at the end, while another fan praised Tobias Harris's recent processing speed. They shared that his performance in the recent game was the most decisive he's ever looked at as a sixer. The fan also commented that the player won't live up to the $180 million, but he's a damn good player and has made a ton of changes to his game to accommodate the team, which is why he deserves so much credit. They also praised James Harden. In the tweets, people were amazed at the player's insane speed on the court. And in terms of Melton's performance, Twitter basically broke. Some netizens said he's on fire, others wished him a damn night because he saved the Sixers at the last minute. One cheeky tweet stated that the entire team owes the player post-game beers. But our favorite tweet about the game is, without a doubt, two-thirds of the earth is covered by water, the other third is covered by DeAnthony Melton. Moving on to the next segment, Embiid also shared that 76er fans aren't happy with him. Can you believe that Embiid thinks that the Sixers fans want to trade him? We couldn't believe it when he heard about it the first time either. Like, what gives? The player's phenomenal, and last we checked, his fans were super happy with him. Well, don't worry about it, because here's the full picture. He shared with Jake Fisher from Yahoo Sports that, yeah, he does think that, but not seriously, rather just believes in it for the sake of motivation. We guess you gotta do whatever helps you play better, right? Though he did share the ugly truth, which is that since he's been doing this gig for a long time, he's also seen his fair share of tough fans, though it doesn't affect him that much now. But you should always be grateful, because you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Honestly, truer words have never been spoken, and we fully agree. The good news for Philadelphia fans 
fans is that Embiid isn't being replaced, or going anywhere for that matter, but as the player on a leading team, he does get stressed out and again, grateful for his job, because if it's not an easy job, and if it was, well then, everyone would be doing it, right? Joel also shared that as the best offensive or defensive player, you gotta make plays and sometimes it's not always possible, cause you can't be perfect. But don't worry, the fans love him. He's definitely the 76ers best player and is working hard at winning the franchise its first NBA championship since 1983. Let's take a look at what Embiid had to say about missing out on the MVP award. Okay, so we're all aware of the fact that if there's one thing that the Philadelphia 76ers all-star center, Joel Embiid wants really badly, it's to win the MVP, short for the Most Valuable Player Award. In fact, he's been working super hard for this goal of his and has even stated multiple times that winning the MVP awards something he really wants. It might as well be on his bucket list for all we know. So to the shock of literally no one, he was obviously upset after coming second to the Denver Nuggets center player Nikola Jokic in MVP voting this season. To give a quick numbers breakdown, Embiid received only one first place vote, which is like peanuts compared to five for Steph Curry and Jokic's 91 votes. Yikes, that's got a sting, man. So all in all, the race wasn't very close because the Serbian player Jokic beat Embiid by a total of 971 to 586 votes. Was the 76ers player upset? For sure, it'd be weird if he wasn't, but the good thing is Embiid isn't going to let this MVP loss get to him, and instead has turned his attention to a bigger and, dare we say, better goal. He's going to lead the Sixers to their first NBA title since 1983. Joel shared that there are some things he can control, and for now, he's focused on the playoffs and on winning the championship. He also said that if and when he's holding the Larry O'Brien trophy, anything else won't matter. Finally, here's the current MVP ladder breakdown. The Denver Nuggets center, Nikola Jokic, was named the NBA MVP for the second season straight, beating Joel Embiid, the Philadelphia 76ers center, and Milwaukee Bucks defending champion Giannis Antetokounmpo in the process. Damn. Jokic won the award because he led the Nuggets to 48 wins and a playoff berth, even though he was riding solo without Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. for the majority of the season. While in the case of Embiid, the player led the league in scoring as is the first center to do such a thing since Shaquille O'Neal way back in the 1999-2000 campaign. Now that's impressive. But get this, Joel was also a huge part of Philly's defense. Without him, the team's 107.8 defensive rating would rank fourth overall in the NBA. He also got the team 51 wins, even though most of the season the player was busy with the Ben Simmons controversy, in which the player sat out the season in demands of a trade until he was dealt to the Brooklyn Nets, which also sent James Harden to Philly. Giannis and Jokic have won the past four MVP awards, but Embiid hasn't been as lucky. He's still trying to get his first award. Well, practice makes perfect. Just look at Leo. He got his first Oscar when he was 42. You'll get your MVP award, Embiid. We believe in you. That's a wrap for the video. What do you think about the Philadelphia 76er Center Joel's comments? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.